Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to another episode of Hearthstone 4 Modern Day Vatican City. So, I ask you all if you want to see me, well, fast forward it, and um, I decided to um, not do that. Because I think the main problem is not actually that the game is so slow. It would be the amount of pausing I would be forced to do to set everything up. So basically I've done like, I've done, well, I think once or twice before, uh, let's go for champagne as a war goal. Just set everything up and then let just the game roll, because otherwise it won't feel any tense. You won't feel any pain if I lose, you won't feel any pain or sh grasp of victory if I win. You won't, like... We're losing half the game if I just speed forward to the moment where they clear war. So instead, I decided to, while it's while having it complete on post, reorganize all my troops, get some more divisions, set up new defensive lines, set up new planes, and everything. Um, you are switching plays. Oh wait, really? Did you die? No, no, no. But we're not. Oh, here, cool. So basically, you're just switching place right here. So we have the tank defending right Gibraltar and just the mountaineer right here. Uh, as you can see, we have a new main front. Well, main front, two big divisions of tanks, and you are gonna basically be the reinforcements. Let's actually have a commander on you. New commander. Actually, do we have a 61 that's not used? Not really. Uh, let's have you then. I think that should... Oh, actually, you would want to sign right here. God damn it. Uh, of course. Just, I have everything set up except this one thing instantly. Okay, you should be fine. Yeah, cool. So, these 35 units, main front against European Union. You're waiting for basically 100 tanks. So, um, otherwise than that, they are completely done. Then we have north front. Um, well, all my marines and the extra tank division, which you can actually grab on the good leaders now. Awesome, you're gonna about to stay here, hold the ground and defend this line. Uh, we have 24, yeah, these two divisions, well, these two massive armies are defending right here. Then we just have some spare units defending right here, these two ports, so they don't naval invade me right here. Uh, you are nuking me up here? Come on! Well, at least it wasn't all my troops, I'm fine. And then we have the African front, which is, well, Africa. Six divisions all around this this area. We have two divisions, well, the two right here. We have the 36 divisions that are gonna attack the other two areas that are also gonna get involved once we declare war against the European... Oh, wait, is it three areas? I missed one. Ah, oh, come on. Anyway, uh, I think this should be fine still. Yeah, we'll just pull, let's say, how, how many troops from you? Uh, let's grab... Both of you have 16. So let's grab five units from you and let's see, five units from you. You five? Perfect. No, no, you actually assigned someone else. Oh yeah, these are three units right here. So we just have to zoom in and just see. Uh, there and then let's unselect one of these two. No, wrong. Okay, this will take, actually just remove random unit. Okay, there's 10 divisions and I want you 10 to be, well, right there. And half of you right there. And that should hopefully do it. Just some extra distractions. Alright, we actually have to sign those five extra. Uh, let's see, who are you moving down? You are moving down, you are moving down. And I'm going to tell you to be right there. Now we have eight divisions right there. God damn it. Always when you set everything up, you also get about something small. That is kind of annoying. Cool, five division on each side, yes. Well, that's not nearly enough, really, but it's all just so I can probably be kind of careful right there. Since this is where everything is going to matter. Yes, and then we have Turkey Front, 24 units right here, assigned under David. Uh, then we have the Home Front. Uh, well, three divisions right here, just defended island. We have one division right here, defending that extra port. This is basically just distractions. Then we have the 60 divisions that are basically defending, I'm saying basically, a lot right now. Hmm, deal with it. Um, yeah, defend my home and not distracting any troops right here in the north. Then we have the one division, Juliano Scar defending Vatican City. Exactly where it should be. Uh, I kind of want to grab these two provinces too. Yeah, it's going to make it a tiny bit more messy, but well, we can deal with it. 
And let's only defend basically everything except that should be it. Yeah, everything except victory cards. All right, cool. Hmm. Let's actually me have me think about it. Yeah, I want this. I want all of you to be perfectly safe right here. So let's just build a couple more forts right there. Since we have another war goal, we have the war against European Confederacy happening in 30 days. Every everyone is setting up, everyone is guarding, everyone is ready and waiting. This is looking a tiny bit well ugly right now, but it's fine. It's just I'm just using the advantage of the um, well of the lakes to my advantage to reduce the front a tiny bit. Yeah, sure you'll grab a lot of land from me, but if this works, then it won't matter. I will bring down your homeland, and then the rest of you will fall shortly after that. Are you the leader of this? Yeah, you are the faction leader of it. Actually, you have four faction members. One, two, three. Where's the fourth one? No, that's just owned by you. Uganda, Nambia, Togo, and China. Which China? Oh... Well, you won't be able to stand against my... Well, you won't be able to name, him, name what made me. I have enough troops right here. And this is Hong Kong. Yeah, cool. Then I don't have to worry about it. <sighs> why, why am I so scared? Why am I so scared? Come on, Daniel. It's a game. It's a game. Yes, right. Oh, right. Air Force. Um, my, my Navy, I basically... Cons Stop saying basically. Stop saying basically. I consolidated it and just defended my island. They have way, way too many ships for me. Hopefully, they're a tiny bit more spread out than me. So, I might be able to, well, hold them outside my naval invasion range for quite a while at least. But then we have our Air Force. I have signed just 1,000 extra planes right here and here. And then we have, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5,000 planes and some tackle bombers to instantly go to Berlin and see if we can drop a couple of nukes over them. Otherwise, this entire plan will probably, well, not work and we will die. So, um, everything hanging on 5,000 planes. Uh, let's see, how lo much longer before this war? It's not gonna be very long. Oh, 27 days. I was really hoping that you were all gonna be finished about that time. But, seems like I declared war too early. It took, actually... It was too quickly for me to actually reorganize everything. Still, it's only gonna be a 20, a 25. To be honest, I don't. I think these this 25% penalty is not gonna be the one thing that makes us win or lose. It's just gonna be addition of how quickly. And um, well, since I started recording right now, I won't have actually time to wait. So, half of you division, gather up to that army. Half of the other ones, gather up right here. Alright, oh, you you actually have too many. Hmm. Interesting. So if I instead grab I can get another force. I would actually kinda like one more force. Okay, that's twelve more units that need to be removed. God damn it. Select twelve. And that's another twelve. And it's gonna be the same thing right here. Actually it will probably go faster if I just do it like this. Uh, 14 and then we need another 13 divisions that's 10 divisions and then one two and three so we have 56 extra divisions what should we do with you i think i want a small precision strike with six divisions oh no not that not that remove that plan very good um I'm, i want a small precision strike like this and just straight ahead. And let's just, for safety reasons, make all of these plans very, very, very different. Uh, let's actually, you need that guy. You can grab the, this guy with 24 units. Mistakes were made once again. Where's the 10? You, 24 units, and you grab the 60 guy. I'm making mis. What? 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 Whatever. I think it is fine. This is basically the main front that is really the difference. You need you need your leaders. All other ones can is like, huh, ah, it's fine. 
Uh, let's just promote you then, and just sign right here. I could just promote, actually I can promote leaders for every another, every army, and every army should have a leader. I have enough pull power for it, so... Cool, uh, U60, you have a leader, you have a leader, you don't have a leader, you need a 61. Promote you and assign you, you should have a leader, you commander, assign you, very nice, you have a leader, you don't have a leader. It's just very something very very basic that I should assign. I have yeah I have billion political power so it doesn't really even touch me. It doesn't even hurt me. I will never feel the damage of this. And then one more twenty four stack. Oh you should probably have a actually a twenty. Do I have a better one? Is there anyone that has a leader? You have the best leader I have, but you are probably gonna be well not offensive. Uh, let's just double check then with you Turkey You are gonna steal the best one I have Right you because you are gonna try to push I don't think you will be able to but I'm still go going to try and you guys can grab that one Thank you and first colony. All right you guys You are the guys yeah, you can stay right there. You're probably not gonna have any pain or anyone even attacking you. So this should be fine. And all my tanks now slowly move forward. And you... Aggressive. Aggressive. And aggressive, of course. Hmm, I should get you a better leader. Do I have a 61 with level 2? You. Oh wait, that's you. So no, I don't. Uh, let's see. I, it feels like I'm just stalling now, like I'm trying to find errors which will help me and give me reason to pause. No, Daniel, the time for waiting and stalling is over. Uh, let's see, you are gonna get blue, and actually you can be orange. And still I can pick something more clear, different, and uh, let's pick yellow, that will give us a tiny bit more. So the red, yellow and blue battle plans is gonna be the biggest difference just prepare for your war and we'll see how this goes god I wonder what really will happen I hoping their units will be exiled as soon as I declare the war no wait wait they volunteers they will just instantly disappear and be transferred back if everything is working as it should <sighs> so it's another 14 days god it has all come to this. The goal we looked forward to for so long time. Such a long time. <laughs> it's kind of insane. I'm super excited. I'm like really trying not to shake for some reason. Daniel, stop it. It's a game. Relax. You can do this. You should be able to do this at least. Sure, your troops are... Well, 20 to 1... Actually, well, most of my units are, well, actually, they're not crap units either. All my troops are pretty goddamn good. All my troops are pretty goddamn good. If I compare with one of your units, my troops are overwhelmingly better. Why should I retreat? Why should I hold the line? Yeah, sure, I want to concentrate. Oh, right, I forgot about this. I completely forgot about that. So, you tanks, you're gonna get new orders. Those marines should be able to defend that. You 24 units, get over here. You're gonna bring them down. And let's just add, well, two divisions to, well, that are gonna stand right there. Actually, it should be enough with one unit. Yeah, you should be able to stand that all by yourself and well withstand any kind of attack. And otherwise, I guess regroup, move on. Basically, you're just a delay. So it shouldn't re really matter that much. And just in case, let's see. You have a level 1 fort everywhere except... No, actually, it seems like you have a level 1 fort everywhere except there. Uh, let's do like this. Doop. One level, a level one fort won't do much of a difference, but at least a tiny bit. 
Uh, I definitely didn't move the other ones to the top. No, I didn't. Now they are. <sighs> Relax, Daniel. It has only been like 12, 15 hours of work. Yeah, it's been 15 minutes now this episode. If you can't deal with it, well, you'll have to deal with it. Or you skip ahead. God damn it. <laughs> Just relax, Daniel. Relax, Daniel. You have planned this well. You can't do anything better than you can't lab. Yes, sure, you could have brought down NATO before doing it. But you really want to do this war. Yeah, I really want to do this war. And we are going to win this. Because we're the Vatican city. We're the v Vatican world city. Euro European Confederacy, you have been, well, a bane for quite some time. Holding us, saying, no, you're not allowed to attack there because of this reason. No, we will protect that nation. No longer. Champagne, Berlin, Paris, any other major city, it will be ours. Every plane... Actually, uh, there, 5,000. Uh, let's w add two on interception. Are we ready for this? I think we are. <sighs> Deus Vult. Do I have air superiority? That's the important part. God, this is gonna take a time. Take some time. The first couple of hours. Yes, we have air superiority currently in Berlin. So, dropping a nuke right here will reduce that unity by some. Uh, let's drop a couple right there, a couple right there, a couple right here, some right there, some right there. Uh, I think that's all we can reach in this area. So select all and please move forward to the next one. Right here. Actually, you might not drop anymore. You will drop. 41%. Yeah, that's perfect. And now, execute all of these orders. You all are aggressively put in. Why have some not arrived yet? For some god reason. Yeah, we're losing at very many positions. But the important part is we need to breach somewhere. It's not important that we breach everywhere. Just somewhere. And we still have superiority right here. So let's drop a couple more nukes. I don't want to nuke their entire front line. Because that would be a very, very cheat way of winning. But I'm still going to use nukes. They have reduced my national unity to 10%. I'm just paying them back with the same. You please charge in. Let's see all my 36 divisions right here. Please charge in if you can. And well, as soon as you are done with your well positions, you will get pulled down to somewhere else here. <laughs> yeah, like you will be able to push in right there. Yeah, that's not gonna work. So yeah, that's just basic delay tactics while we're trying to push in right here. How are they doing? They're not... Someone suggested that I should increase this one. 280 before attacking. But right now, I'm gonna need my, well, combined attacks everywhere. Instead of my, well, one attack right here, one attack right here. We just need... Well... We need allies. We need more divisions, rather than few very strong. And right now it seems to be working. We are pushing in at some places. Slowly but steadily. We have nuked the crap out of them enough. We just need to grab a couple of major cities and we will have one. So please assign fighters everywhere. You're gonna fight until you die. And as you can see... Oh crap, I forgot to assign or actually make these ones active. And as you might have seen, I had enough for each and every region right here. And let's assign both on actually intercepting bombers too. Because that's going to be quite important. So my air losses, I expect my air force to disappear right now. But that's just an air force. Oh, I never I actually deployed all of these extra troops. 
That was gonna be, uh, well, basically to the reserve rule. But right now, I think I actually removed that line even. Yeah. So, you, 56 units. You can join up with these ones. And you spread out. And your order is to not have an order at all. You're just gonna follow the line. No, please spread out. Well, wh why are you not... Oh, right, we haven't taken this province yet. Uh, please grab that. Oh, actually, we won't be able to grab it right yet. Can you please stop attacking right there and see if you can break this unit? That's gonna be very, very hard. Wait, are we not attacking from two sides? Yes, but oh! Oh, this is actually... Yeah, we won't be able to break that in a while. But so far, we're doing quite well. Let's see how many men we have lost. 32,000 versus 260,000. And yeah, we're breaking them. They are nuking the crap out of me. I knew this would happen. So I just paid them back. Well, before them, but yeah, I'm paying them back. God, this is not very, very pretty. Though it's going really, really, really well. Are we breaking this yet? No, we're not. So it seems like the only reinforcement someone is getting is the right side. Uh, let's gra grab you, give you a very nice pink color so I can very easily see you. Yeah, you can't control this. Yeah, see, some a couple of divisions completely surrounded. Uh, let's see if we can free them. You're defending there right now. All right. Uh, you guys, please push in right here. Oh, well, push in. Push back and secure the front. All right, half of you stay right here. The two of you back up. And how are you doing? Oh, crap. You're actually doing extremely well. Um, that's much better than I expected you to do. So please try to finish off all of this then. And you can actually go, please, around this. So you 24 units. Oh, right. We have stuff right here too. That's kind of hard. Actually, then let's do like this. You can stay right there. While only you push forward. If that works. Um, yeah, we are breaking them. We are breaking them fast. 400,000 dead versus my 56,000. See if we can push in right there. Just use my garrisons for a tiny bit of offensive actions too. Uh, how is our fleet doing? We have lost... Basically, no, 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 wait, wait, they're back at repairing. Yes, I put them all on high repair priority because I'm expecting this battle to last for quite some time. But it seems like our five convoys are superior to their... No, no of course it's not our five convoys. It's a couple of missile cruisers. But um, it seems like the European Confederacy went for numbers instead of quality. I went for quality, but not forgetting about numbers too. We have a good amount of tanks, but they're still really, really good. We have a good amount of ships, and everyone is top-notch. Oh god, I can't believe I said that. Top-notch. Ugh, I'm embarrassed by myself. Anyway, um... So, yeah. This is going quite well for us. Surprisingly well. Why is it going so well? They should be able to just... Well, just swarm us with units and just hold us off forever. While well, my planes are bravely dying in the sky right now. Let's double check losses everywhere. Actually, basically nothing. Oh, stop saying basically. Why have we lost so why have we lost so few planes? Oh yeah, here's a bunch of planes lost. Or oh, only 13, so it seems like that might Oh wait, I think I talked about this a very long time ago. Their fault is they have so many troops. They don't have the latest equipment on, on every everything. While I almost do. Which means, well, my superior troops are me meeting their weaker troops. Which means overrun opportunities. And, well, yeah. They're getting pushed back because the better troops are being pulled down by the worse troops. Oh god, we will actually win this. And I nuked the crap out of them. Well, they have a lot of land, and I will have to grab a billion victory points to actually get their surrender. 
but we are pushing in extremely fast but as you can see we have lost quite a bit of units it's time to go down to phase two the slow push come on can't you just bring down this unit because then everyone would get some extra reinforcements Th this unit is basically the walking unit the back line the extra the reserves I don't know what to call them because well while everyone is pushing very very aggressively I think I've talked about this uh, quite quite often actually we ha you have some extra troops back in reserve that are not pushing at all so they will just fill up all the lines uh, actually now when well we actually pushed around that then you should be able to just push around they will basically fill in the gaps wherever it's possible so even if they, some units push a tiny bit too far and a tiny bit too deep these units will move up and fill in those gaps behind them and yeah so everyone has now pushed forward a bit and should now well be a bit less aggressive and just continue their front like here here we would have additionals a couple of yeah a couple of front troops that we're basically defending and how many overruns are in do oh three million men versus my 116,000 I think my tanks well well the tank speed is the winner today we are breaking the first line that are consisting of some or actually mostly I think bad troops and some very good ones the bad ones break the entire unit that are standing there routes and then my tanks go in take the province and rout them before they have any chance of regrouping so I think our victory lies in well their numbers we're winning just because there are so many of them we are winning because there are too many of them we our numbers in factories are just going up slowly but steadily actually not even slowly very 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 quickly some of them are being destroyed of course but hopefully this will speed up the game a tiny bit once they fall speak and you shall receive oh god that was kind of anticlimactic but still f yes go to hell we have a new world power in lead it's called the Vatican City I want a peace green take all states take all states take all states and turn it was a long time ago we looked at this a very very long time ago we looked at their might and was in awe today it's different today we are annexing the European Confederacy and we're pressing down Vatican City took 161 states Oh, it seems like Norway have invaded and taken back some territory. Eh, it's fine. Good for them. Uh, holy shite. That went extremely quickly. Oh, oh, we have some land right here. Hmm, maybe we can use this opportunity at hand to actually... Well, hello. What about, well, let's say splitting you in half. Taking a good commander. So you and just tell him to well go around and defend the English island <laughs> defend and let's see we should have some spare troops right here let's say 28 divisions right here to be signed and if you don't have too much trouble actually everyone please go to this port instead and that should buy my fleet a tiny bit of time to get around actually it won't you, you are just going to your doom. Okay, let's just assign everyone right there. Uh, this division. Please, you are going to defend, well, only the ports of the entire Europe. 
Let's assign this. Oh god, finally. <laughs> you can't, like, even if it went like this, you can't believe how happy I am right now. I'm just very, very calmly trying to see, is this actually what happened? Did we win so handily? Did we just destroy them? I think we might actually have done it. We won. It took a very, very long time. Oh god, I forgot to check at these units. Yeah, you did quite well. Pushing forward all the way right here. We did this well. We built up our nation from the tiny, tiny city of Vatican. Who were, well, 900, 800 something, 870. You're now 930. And, well, also owns almost... The entire freaking continent. Now there is just the new world to deal with. The United States, Canada and of course United Kingdom. I'm pretty sure you can guess which nation is first. And which, well, will probably fall quite quickly. But all of that will happen in the next episode of Vatican City. Oh god, this is awesome. So happy. <laughs> um, yeah. Oh, actually, I'm gonna do like this. I'm so happy. Yeah. Um, I'll see you guys next time. Bye. And bye.